here we go three days on the water two nights in the hammock hopefully the weather's gonna play ball oh there's a lot of weight in the bow <laughs> even big surf or choppy. We're taking a wee bit of a gamble today or over the next couple of days. The forecast obviously very good at the minute for today but it's half five so kind of a risk a lot of the day. Um, tonight the forecast says there's going to be up to 30 mile an hour winds and rain and then 20 mile an hour wind tomorrow been change, chopping and changing all week so I'm hoping that <laughs> they've got it wrong and the winds tomorrow will die off. I don't mind the rain, it's, a, it's an onshore wind as well so it's going to be quite tough to get a drift sorted out if it doesn't happen to be as predicted. So I do have an anchor with us, we might just have to fish at anchor or see what we can do but the whole point in this really is just to get out spend a few nights and a couple of nights in the canvas and uh, maybe catch some fish. <sighs> Feels nice, I don't even have any phone signal. Get in. Let's have a drop. Oh, there we go. Oh, feels like a canny one. Little pollock, I would say. God, there's tons of them down there. <laughs> well, this isn't the size we're after, but uh, it's good fun. Only been on the water ten minutes. <laughs> you can probably tell this reel's not very well. I brought it just in case it was bottom fishing. There we go. Oh, it's off. Sorry fish, got an eyeball and some bait. Uh, a couple more of these and then let's move on. Still got a way to go until I get to uh, where I'm going to camp. <laughs> ah, felt better, I can see why. 
Sorry, buddy. A couple of bigger marks down there, just... Probably not competing with the little fish. Oh. Well, I seem to have drifted over those little pollock. There's not much else showing on the sounder, so... Let's get a move on and go and get this all this weight off the kayak and then a few hours fishing before heading back to the shore and cooking dinner. Oh, I'm looking forward to my burgers. home for the night. Well, the next two nights in there. First incident of the day. <laughs> my uh, studs on my shoes aren't as good as they should be, I don't think. Wow, smart that. Just need to slow down and uh, I'm just in a hurry because of the weather. Just really want to get out and go fishing. Some salt water will sort that out. So that's all the kit dropped, as you've seen. And now we're fishing. I'm going to a little bay around the corner, but I uh, just saw a massive mark on the sonar, so I thought I'd have a quick drop at it. Oh, there's another one. This onshore wind's a pain. It's a good tidal run, but it's, I'm just getting blown straight onto the shore. Got some new lures with us as well, as always. Um, you know, I like fishing with fish minnows and crazy eels. Well, I found another brand called Drift and pretty much they look very, very similar, but a wee bit cheaper. So got a few different weights, uh, 15, 30 and 55 for offshore version. I mean, they look very similar. The main difference is the tail, it's not tapered as much. So I think we're going to get more movement in the tail compared to the fish minnow. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to giving those a blast, once I stop jigging that is. <laughs> well, it's not what we're after, but I'll take any fish. I just love fishing. There seems to be a load of these down there again. The marks are really big, but... Uh, 
obviously the fish, this isn't. This is a problem of fishing with a treble on there as well. Oh, there's something massive down there. and take it. There's a massive amount of uh floating weed. This bay is like a big back eddy and uh, yeah it's just you can see it on my line there I'm just hoping that it's not on my lure. Well, I'm jigging in all this muck here I can see something big on the sonar down there but it's not it's not biting the uh, the silver jig so Let's see if the uh, the drift lure makes a difference. I need to swap the reels. This, I brought this just for uh, potentially a bit of bait fishing tomorrow if. Uh, if it's bad, but obviously it's not. <laughs> it's not letting line out quick enough to get the uh, the lure down, especially with this thirty gram lure. Let's put it on the spinning rod. It's much better off on there. <laughs> so we had a good go at that. Got the uh, 10 gram fish crazy eel on, uh, offshore version, 100 millimeter body. Seems small and light, but uh, it's had me an 82 centimetre bass, so I'm quite happy to chuck it around. Seems to winkle fish out when, uh, when nothing else is catching. And it is pretty slow in all honesty, apart from those pollock that I had before. I've not really had anything else. I've not seen anything on the sonar either. I'm not drifting very far apart from in, so uh, I'm not covering very much ground, which is why I'm casting this around rather than jigging. Big fish midwater.
<laughs> this isn't the big fish mid water. Well, oh, that's better. Oh, I need to take my drag up there. <laughs> oh, I knew there was a bigger fish. Not bad, probably a pound and a half, two pounds. Righty little git. So these pollock are going for it. <laughs> Even the little ones. fish on the crazy eel, no doubt a little pollock. Yep. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Feels like another pollock. Yep, there we go. Oh, oh there, fella. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Some fish right below us. See if we can jig them. Oh, that was a better one, that. They're gone in no time, these fish. Must be moving around quite a lot. Why aren't they eating? They're not liking the oh God, the jig. Look at this. Big marks again. Right, I'm going to stop getting distracted by the sonar because what's happening is I'm actually drifting backwards, back towards camp. So <laughs> I'm not really making any forward progress covering the different ground so I'm going to paddle further forwards and then drift back away. Time is getting on really, I'm, I'm starving. I've not eaten for a few hours, well, maybe five <laughs> and uh, I know I've got a set up camp which doesn't take long in all honesty. A little bit longer than a tent but I think I know where I'm going to set my stuff up so shouldn't take too long. So 
I'll try and set up a big drift and uh, even get some different species of fish. So the ground's a little different around here, there's a lot more bouldery than in the plateau, so still in seven meters of water, just, just different structure underneath really, so let's try something slightly different to what we've been fishing. something big mid-water again. Oh, why do I always cast so far away when the fish seem directly beneath us? Could just be a lot of pollock again. The mid-water as well. I'm in five meters of water and that marks uh, three meters there. It's gone over a big ledge. It's gone from two meters down to seven. It's really steep, so I'm casting in front of us to try and fish along the base of the ledge. So I'm assuming it follows the coastline around. I'm using a 30 gram cheb. <laughs> There's the fish beneath us again, just when I cast away. 30 gram Cheb and uh, Z-Man Pro Cro. I'm fishing hard on the bottom now. I smell fish in the air. Yeah, it smells really fishy. My belly is rumbling. Oh, I just noticed there's a rainbow over there. Oh shit. That's not far away and that's uh, <laughs> gonna be heading this way. Let's get my stuff sorted. I don't want to get a soaking. Oh, <laughs> oh, got a chaser. Yeah, there we go. Another little pollock. Well, uh, the tiger, easy, easy, I'm gonna unhook you. There we go. Another one at a pound and a half, two pound. Right, well, that was the last fish. It's definitely going now, I can see the rain coming, so... Uh, Let's go and get sorted out. Unfortunately for me, the tide's coming in, so I've got to carry this kayak all the way up there. And all my other stuff as well. Right then. Oh, oh God. Jesus. 
that hatch wasn't closed and there's me car keys. Fuck. <laughs> that was nearly a disaster. I need to take this tackle pad off, it's too unbalanced. Alright, let's try that again. It's better. do for the moment. Whew. Getting too old for this. Next time I do this I need to find some trees on a beach so I can just use my trolley. Do some exercise. Get fitter. I've got some decent studs in my boots, shoes. There's literally these are terrible. The snowby studs. So yeah, snowby know what they're doing. Turned out to be M6 hex screws. As soon as the lip comes off the end, then that's it, they're done. End up being like flathead screws and totally slippery or slippy. <laughs> so I was going to go between those two trees there. But with the direction of the wind, I think, oh, yeah, here, yeah, because then it's sheltered as well between this tree and that tree. And I might be able to get my other top across the front. Let's get the hammock up first and see what the crack is. So it took us a wee while to get the, uh, the shelter up. I've actually used two tops, first time I've done this, so uh, yeah, uh, got lots of room, it's quite good. Um, I've even got a little weather side there, so if, uh, well, the wind is picking up, you can probably hear it. Uh, and it started raining as well. Although at the minute it's just spitting on, so it's not too bad. Um, when I go to bed, I'm going to bring these sides down because this is the weather side here. Well, it's kind of coming from there, but I want a little bit more protection, less open there. And it's much more open on this side, so I can actually almost walk around. Back in hell, it's 20 to 11. Woo! Need to get me food on. I've had one sandwich today and... Uh, That's, that's been it so far. Uh, I'll give you a tour of this in the morning when it's, uh, when it's light. And if it's still standing, that is. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get down and get down. I'm going to start cooking me dinner. Don't think it'll be on the fire tonight. Um, not with the rain. And I'm in, <laughs> I'm in a hurry, so... Yeah, there's the rain coming. Uh, I... I'm gonna get it on the uh, on the little gas stove here. Mmm, wagyu burgers. Oh. Oh, come on, 
good to me pit. Got the chili cheese on, get in, they're ready. <clears throat> oh, it's about time, been looking forward to these. Oh. Mm. It's the thing with these burgers, they get that lovely crispy outside, so Get a bit of crunchy texture. Oh. I can't tell you how hungry I am. So I'm going to finish off these. And then <clears throat> going to check my kayak, tidy up, and then swing myself to sleep in my hammock like a baby. So the, I've just checked the forecast. Unfortunately, the wind isn't too strong tonight. But it's going to chuck it down from like midnight, which is in about 20 minutes through till about four or five in the morning. So one of the problems with hammocks is that obviously they've got a I don't know, a conduit for water to travel down. So I think I've, I've brought a bivy bag with us. I think I'm going to put my sleeping bag in my bivy bag and sleep in that. And that's just as a backup, just just to make sure that no water kind of runs down into me, uh, into the hammock. And hopefully the deers aren't barking too much and keeping me awake. And then I'm not going to say I'm going to get up early because I never do but I'm going to get up when I get up and then we'll make a call we might pack down because the forecast for uh, Saturday is like for 35 mile an hour winds we'll see that's about 8-9 hours away yet and uh, I'm a bit preoccupied so Well, the wind's really picking up now. It's like a wind tunnel in here. Never mind. I'll be reet. Right, good night. Windy. Good morning. So last night was an interesting night. The wind was really howling. Um, it was more than the 17 mile an hour that was forecast, that's for sure. I had to go around and adjust the uh, the camp um, and 
tie off all of the attachment points for the tarps. I checked on the boat or kayak because it was after high tide and the swell was was big. Uh, I still don't want to go and look at that yet because it might be interesting with all this weight on the kayak. And then the rain was was biblical really, but it was quite nice. It stayed dry. Didn't have to use a bivy bag. Um, but the sound of the uh, the rain on the top I really like. Because it's only going to get windier. And because of the swell, that's only going to get bigger as well. Uh, I think we're going to have to call it. We're taking... <laughs> it's getting windier again. We're taking this set up camping set up to the, uh, to the limit really tent next time if the weather's like this but uh, I'm gonna get some bacon and uh, get sorted out and some coffee oh there's my alarm seven o'clock night Uh, whoops, it's windy. Well, that's camp broken down, settled down. Gonna uh, 
make a run for it and try and get to the harbour. The uh, it's looking pretty choppy. It's going to be an interesting paddle back. The swell is going to be across me at about 45 degrees, so yeah, it might be a bit damp, especially with all the weight in the kayak. But uh, going to get down to the water and uh, and get going. Hopefully, we'll see you back at the car park on the other side. It's going to be fun. Hard work. Sorry for the wind noise. I didn't want to put my microphone on. It's actually not too bad when you're out on the water. The boat rides really well. It's a good job I'm not uh, going straight into straight into the waves. <laughs> 